Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I'm back with a video. And in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Hall of Fame, Tracy McGrady. Before I hop into the video, I do want to give a shout out to my homie Post for letting me hop on and recording gameplay with his Tracy McGrady card. A link to his Twitter will be in the description. Make sure you guys go show him some love. Now, on the screen in front of us today, we do have him, and I am super duper excited to get a gameplay with this card. Why? In case you guys don't know, Tracy McGrady is my favorite NBA player in NBA history. Honestly, guys, I am probably the biggest Tracy McGrady fan you will know. If you do follow me on Twitter, you guys can see my header. It's Tracy McGrady. Those of you guys who do follow me on Twitter, every single tra time Tracy McGrady Trady gets trending, I'm talking about T-Mac. I love T-Mac. He's my favorite player in NBA history. So I'm going to keep the intro short and just go over stats and badges, then we'll hop into some gameplay, as he's a 6 foot eight shooting guard with 11 Hall of Fames, including one math fast break, ankle breaker, mid-range that I, relentless finisher, deep range that I, limitless range, acrobat, difficult shots, post riser, catch and shoot, and Tyler score. And the 13 goals include bruiser, chase on artist, pickpocket, lob city finisher, pick and popper, pick dodger, defensive stopper, dimer, lob city passer, corner specialist, flashy passer, break starter, and pick and roll maestro. Onto the attributes right here, it does come with a 97 standing and driving layup, a 97 open mid-range, 97 open shot, 3, 95 free throw, 98 driving dunk, and a 98 contact dunk. Oh my goodness. Mid-range, 3, dunk, 97, and 98 across the board. 97 ball control, 92 passing accuracy, 81 block, 95 shot contest, 92 steal. Average rebounding at 75 offensive, 78 defensive. 97 speed, 95 speed with ball, 94 lateral quickness, 90 defensive consistency, 95 offensive consistency, and 95 reaction time. This Tracy McGrady just literally goaded, guys. I don't have any more words to say for him other than let's hop into some gameplay. First play of the game, you already know who we're giving it to, and not sure if you guys can tell already, my opponent has Gallus Yopo Worthy, which is probably one of the best defenders in the game who's going to be on T-Mac. Let's send T-Mac on a backdoor cut right here, and he's going all the way for the slam. Even though one of the best defenders in James Worthy is on us, that's not going to stop T-Mac, the GOAT. And it doesn't look like my opponent is half-court pressing, so you know we're going to try and hit T-Mac on a trail from Hall of Fame Limitless Range. That's green. Let's go. He has to go into half-court press to stop this trail cheese, or else we're going to beat him with it pretty much all game long. No way. You don't have Gallus Gilbert Blake. That's Pink Diamond Blake who's not going to be able to hit those long-range threes. Why not go back-to-back -back Hall of Fame Limitless with T-Mac? Oh, I got carried away. T-Max on a right wing with a little bit of separation. Let's take a mid-range right here. Open, in and out. Greg Odom, though, clean up the boards. Kicking the T-Mac in the corner. And a lightly contested three for him is money. This man, T-Mac, already has eight points. And we're only a minute into the game. Good D. No way. Good defense. Let's go magic with the board. You already know who we're going to give it to. Give it to T-Mac. Showing the play. No one stepping up on him. Right on the line. Wide open. What is my opponent doing? He's just leaving where he's just leaving T-Mac so much space. There we go. Smart decision by my, my opponent switching into that half court press. Because he switched to half court press, it's gonna stop the trail cheese, but it's not really gonna stop T-Mac from scoring. Honestly, you can't stop him from scoring. We're gonna take another mid-range, and that's money. We activate his takeovers for the first time this game, being sharpshooting and slashing. Greg Owen comes up with that steal. T-Mac's gone. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go all the way right here. I drew the foul. I'm going to be sent to the free throw line. The reason why I said that was because with his sharpshooting, I could either have stopped and popped and made a three or attacked it and got a bucket. But either way, when T-Mac has takeovers, he's going to score every time. As we go two of two from the line. Durant with that board, taking up the T-Mac, we're going to stop and pop from the green line. Hey! Oh my goodness. This card right now has, has to be the best card in the game that you can buy on auction block. I mean, it's just, it's just really ridiculous. Let's give him an isolation. Oh, he's getting picked. There we go. Give him an isolation right here. Actually, he's jumping. This is going to be an open three. And oh my goodness, this team back is ridiculous. He has 21 points, and we're barely past the halfway mark of the first quarter. I really hope my opponent doesn't quit, because if he doesn't quit, T-Mac will drop 100 points. Best believe that. Best believe that he will drop 100 points. He's not stepping up. Open three for T-Mac is in. He's wrestling and dazzling. And my opponent is out of here. Oh, my goodness. This man, T-Mac, is ridiculous. I would have dropped over 100 points. There's no doubt about it. He did leave the match. So, unfortunately, we didn't. He left in the first quarter. So, what we're going to do now is take T-Mac, the triple threat. I don't really get a lot of triple threat gameplay in. 
because he just dominated this unlimited game. Let's hop, let's hop in two triple threat games with this T-Mac, and then we'll call it a video. Oh man, that was a lot of fun. Into the first triple threat game right here, my opponent has Dumars, Pippen, and George Mikan. And oh boy, it looks like T-Mac's gonna go at Pippen. This should be a good matchup. You already know who we're gonna give it to. T-Mac's running the floor, going all the way. Um, that's a heavily contested layup. But I guess T-Mac just literally makes everything. That, okay, I'll tell you guys like this. I'll put you guys like this. If any other card goes up for that layup, aside from a couple of Galaxy Opals, it's going to be off. But T-Mac made that. That is crazy. Okay, guys, just like that, it's 9-0. to zero. Um, I guess my opponent just made three threes and I lost count. <laughs> it's all good, though. We're going to give it to T-Mac, let him go to work. This Pippen is probably the best defender outside of maybe Worthy. Or he probably is the best Pippen. We're going to hit T-Mac in the corner, though, open three ball, and that's money. Good D from Dr. J. And he gives the T-Mac on a break. We're going to stop and pop for three. And that's only a lightly contested three. And honestly, for T-Mac, those light leads are almost opens. The way he's knocking them down. Greg Oden gets that steal. And I kind of force fed him right there. That was a bad pass. T-Mac's going on the back door right here. Getting Pippen in the air. And that's an easy layup. Mixing up a little bit. And making it very hard for my opponent to guard T-Mac. And not, I'm not being one dimensional. Oh, man. I feel like my opponent got this man Pippen on takeover purposely. Because now he has lockdown takeover, so it's gonna be really really hard to score on this. Never mind, we're getting a blow by and see oh my goodness, that lockdown takeover is crazy. But Greg Oden in the corner though is making that three. He was behind me and still forced T Max to miss with that lockdown takeover. No way, that's a heavy on Pippin. Please got a rebound. That's a big boy board right there. Gonna kick the T Mac fading for three. Alright, my opponent slowly climbed his way back into the game. Let's hit T Mac though for a Hall of Fame limitless three. That's green! Without takeover from the half court line and triple threat, that's game on a triple threat game number two, and then we'll call it a video. So my opponent has a Amethyst Kemba, Manu, and Hakeem. We have Tracy, Dr. J, Odin. Should be a GG again. You already know who we're going to give the ball to right here. Manu is always behind me. No one's stepping up, and that's green again. I don't think I've come close. I don't think I've like ever come close to not even coming close to greening with T-Mac, if that makes sense. Like, the most of the shots I take with him are either full white bars or greens. That's good defense. Good board by Odin. You know who we're going to give it to? T-Mac again. Let's stop and pop again. That's another green beam. Let's go. We're going to give T-Mac yet again. And no one's stepping up on him. That's Kemba Walker. That's only going to be a light because he's six foot one. Come on now. T-Mac is one shot away from his takeovers. Good board by Dr. J. Going to hit T-Mac again on the break. And, like I said... I'm just getting so many greens with this guy, it's crazy. Yet another green light from that fast break. Good steal from T-Mac, and again, we're gonna pull this one from deep, and yo, when can I not green light with this man? I don't get it. I guess I just know his release that well. I mean, I am like one of the biggest Tracy McGrady fans that you will know, so I do know his release, but I, never, I didn't know that I knew it like this. Big board by Dr. J, gonna hit the T-Mac, and stopping and popping again. I, okay, in this triple threat game, I think he's literally greened all of his shots that he's made. You know, and again, we're going to pull from deep. And another green light. Bang. Oh, my goodness. This Tracy McGrady is the best card you could buy in the game. And it's not close. So, yeah, GG's to all three of my opponents in the unlimited game and in the two triple threat games. I believe Tracy McGrady finished with around 75 points around that range. Okay, close to 70. I think it was close to 70, but still. What a performance from T-Mac. And right now, he is the best card in the game that you can buy on an auction block. And there's no debate. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this card is a 10 out of 10. Like, I don't even have to think about what I'm going to give him. I already know I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. This card is literally flawless. He's six foot eight, so he has great height on defense. And if you guys, you know, have a squad where you're thinking about selling Larry Bird, selling Toil's 20th anniversary small forward, sell those guys and get yourself a team back. Without a doubt, the best card you could buy right now in a game. And on top of all this, you can easily say that he has the easiest release to green in the game. I got countless green lights. I don't think I've ever gotten like this many green lights in a gameplay in my life. Meaning, this card has to have like the best release in the game or if not easily a top three release. I believe he has base eight. I don't know what his uppers are, but I believe it is base eight. It's, it's similar to like DeMar DeRozan's, but this card, this release, this card, I can go literally on and on hours talking about how good this card is and saying he's the best card you could buy in the game. But I'm not. I'm going to wrap up this video by giving another shout out to my homie Post for letting me hop on recording gameplay with his T-Mac. A link to his t Twitter will be in the description. 
I love the Tracy McGrady. Love him in real life. Loved him when he played. I love him in 2K. I'm going to get him on my squad as soon as this price drops just a little bit. This card is literally amazing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. It is YBC and I'm out. Peace.